Hey guys, it's Whamsy with a 3D tutorial on turnarounds. These are very creative maneuvers and there's many of them out there. So I want to show you two that I really like. So we're going to go from upright to inverted first. And this is a maneuver in full speed to give you an idea on how fast and how quick this motion is. And it's very quick. So the slow motion is going to be very critical to seeing exactly what I'm doing. So let's try it again with some slow motion. Okay, here we go. So we're going to take off. The slow motion is going to start here soon, right here. We're going to give that elevator input, give that aileron input while throwing in some rudder, and then getting on the correct elevator input to fly out. So basically you're doing a hammerhead, except you're throwing in rudder and aileron. That's the way I see it. And to do a simplified version, do a half roll on the upline, hammerhead, and then fly out the other way. That's it. Simplified. But this is a little different and we're going to show it one more time give that elevator do that combined motion with the aileron and rudder to flip the tail around and then fly out that's the that's the move and the simplified version like i've said before is the half roll hammerhead fly out it's not as quick but that's 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 how you start and this is the mode one view for people who fly mode one this was requested on rc groups so I followed your request. So I hope you enjoy that and hope that helps you also learn. And now we're going to do the inverted to upright. So here it is full speed to let you guys see exactly how quick this has to be. Bam. That's it. And this can be done quicker and it can be done slower. So it's all about how you want it to look and present in the air. Now we're going to do some slow motion. We're going to take off, we're going to flip inverted, the slow motion is going to start. We're going to give that down elevator and push the nose up. We're going to give that combined input and swing that tail around at the top and get on the elevator to fly out correctly. And that's the maneuver. And it's the same, it's the same thing. And I would recommend starting on a foam airplane. And then after you got it down on a foam airplane, take it to a bigger airplane that flies in post stall really well. My 89 Slick is probably my favorite airplane to do this with, as it flies the best post stall. So here we go one more time, giving that combined input. So you're going to give a lot of aileron for a second, and then you're going to back off, and you're going to stay on that rudder, and that's it. And now I'm going to do one more mode 1 view for anyone who flies mode 1. This was requested, so I'm going to do it. I hope this helps anyone who's been wondering about these turnarounds. I know some people very specifically have been wanting this video, so I hope this helps. And I'm out.